Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at this problem. You have a PDF, you click on it, and Microsoft Edge opens it. Sometimes you change file associations, and it still keeps opening up in Microsoft Edge when you have your own reader that you'd prefer to use. So, as always, there's a guide that goes along with it, and you can follow it, and you're probably going to need to just to get this long registry key out. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename a registry key and then when we're done there we're going to go back and change the file associations. Okay, So let's press the Windows key plus R and put in regedit. And when you do, copy and paste this line you just saw here and type that up in the search bar here. That's going to bring you down to the general area and I'll explain in a minute. Find Microsoft.edge. Microsoft, right there. You'll notice that you have a different version number. So if you're watching it today, that's probably correct. If you're watching this six months down the road, I don't know what your number is going to be. So once you find this one with a number, expand that. Expand the Microsoft Edge one. Expand the capabilities and go to file associations. Now what we want to do is find the PDF right here and right click on it and when you right click on it do rename you can do almost anything you want here I'm just going to use an underscore like that and press enter and you are finished with that you can always go back and just reverse those steps screenshots descriptions here and now we want to change the default app so you can do that in the control panel apps default apps uh, sometimes you can use the Windows key plus s and start typing in default apps and there you go and once you get to there kind of a pain in the butt but what you have to do is you're gonna have to scroll way down after you go to default apps right here and when you get there we need to go all the way down to change default apps by file type now that we're here, this is the pain in the butt I was talking about. There's a long, long list here. And I should mention while we're waiting for this to load up that this can work for PDFs, HTML, anything that opens up in Microsoft Edge that you don't want to open up. So you just need to know the file type. So in our case, you can see it's a real long list. If you scroll, you'll be here forever. We want to get to PDFs. So look over here. And when you do, this will expand and you can scroll till you get somewhere in the general neighborhood of PDF. There it is right there. Now next to PDF, as you can see, Microsoft Edge is set to open it. So we'll click on that and then you just simply either look for an app or choose the reader that you already have. In my case, for this video, I installed Foxit Reader. Oh no, switch anyway, you saw that. So typical Edge is the best, you probably wanna use it. So that should do it. And once again, you can find instructions and a screenshot here and the video as always will be embedded into the how-to so that you can find it either way double check I probably have to reboot because of that change nope we did not there you go so now as you can see once I double click it my file association is fixed but the big important trick here is you can change your file associations all you want and somehow Microsoft Edge likes to take it back over again later anyway by renaming this registry key, you stop that from happening and having to get taken back over from Edge. So there you go. Edge should no longer hijack your PDFs at this point. And there you have it, how to stop Microsoft Edge from opening PDF and HTML and any other files you're having a problem with, frankly. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribes. See you next time.